To solve this question, let's begin by simplifying the value of a to the power of x. Now remember that 2 to the power of 3 can be equal to 8, right? So that expression will give us 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of 3 all to the power of the exponent of x and that will be equal to 68, right? Good. Now, remember the law of indices. If we have a to the power of x multiplied by y, this can be equal to a to the power of y. It can also be equal to multiplied by the exponent of x. Now, if we apply that to this expression, we're going to have 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x multiplied by the exponent of 3, and this will be equal to 68. Fine. So, now let's assume something. Let's assume that uh, y is equal to 2 to the power of x. So, if y is equal to 2 to the power of x, that means y to the power of 3 can also be equal to 2 to the power of x all to the exponent of 3, right? So, we are going to replace that expression with uh, the expression we have over there. So, this is going to give us y plus y to the power of 3, and that will be equal to 68. Sure, this looks like a polynomial equation, right? It is a polynomial equation. So, what we need to do is to rearrange it. So, we'll have y to the power of 3 plus y if we subtract 68 from both sides, we are going to have minus 68, and this will be equal to 0. So the job we we'll have here is to simplify this polynomial equation. Now remember, there are two ways to simplify this expression. It's either we find the value of y, make y to become a value such that if we equate it into this exponential equation, if we have 0, then that value of y is a, is a factor. And so we can divide this polynomial by that factor to get the quadratic equation. And when we solve that quadratic equation, we can get the other two factors. Now remember, when you solve two polynomial equations, you solve a polynomial equation, you are, are supposed to have three factors. But in order to avoid going that lengthy way, I want us to solve it using this method. Now, let's assume that we have uh, minus 68. Minus 68 can be equal to negative 64, right? Minus 4, right? And that will give us 68. So how about replacing minus 68 with negative 64 minus 4? I think that will work out well. Now let's do that. We'll have uh, y to the power of 3 plus y, right? Minus 64 minus 4, and this will be equal to 0. Fine. So let's simplify for that. If we simplify for that, we're going to have uh, y to the power of 3 minus 64, right? Plus y minus 4 and this will be equal to 0. Fine. So, y to the power of 3, now recall that 4 to the power of 3 is equal to 64, right? So, we we'll have minus 4 to the power of 3 plus y minus 4 equal to 0. Now, I want you to recall an algebraic expression. In that algebraic expression, if we have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this can be equal to a minus b, right? And this will be equal to a square plus ab plus b square. Fine. So, Let's substitute that into, into that expression, reminding ourselves that a is equal to y, while uh, b 
is equal to 4. Now, if we substitute that into the expression, this whole expression will now give us a y minus 4, right? And this will multiply by y squared plus 4y plus 4 squared. And this other part, we are going to have a plus 1 multiplied by y minus 4, and this will be equal to 0. Now, if you see, if you simplify this, you will have this. Fine. So, let's simplify this for that. We have two common expressions, y minus 4 and y minus 4. So, we are going to bring out the value of y minus 4. And so, that will make, give us, divide this whole expression by y divided by 4, we'll have y squared plus 4y plus 16 remaining. Now, divide this whole expression by y divided by 4, we are going to have a plus 1 remaining, and all these will be equal to 0. Good. Now, let's simplify for that. If we simplify for that, we're going to have two expressions. y minus 4 is equal to 0, or we have a y squared plus 4y plus, that is going to give us 17, right? 16 plus 1 is equal to 17, and that will be equal to 0. So, from that two expression, we can get our three factors. The first factor, y minus 4, is equal to 0, right? So, if we add 4 to both sides, we'll have our y to be equal to 4. So, this is the first factor to that polynomial equation. The next two factors can be gotten by solving this quadratic equation. 4 to the power of y plus 17 equal to 0. To find out if the solution to this quadratic equation will give us a real value or uh, an imaginary value, let's look for the discriminant of this equation. The discriminant will give us d squared minus 4ac. Remember that our a is equal to 1, our b is equal to 4, and our c is equal to 17. Now, if we simplify or substitute that into that expression, we are going to have the discriminant to be equal to 4 squared minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 17. So we're going to have 4 squared will give us 16, right? Minus 4 times 17 is going to give us 68. So 16 minus 68 is going to give us a negative 52. And this negative 52 is what is less than 0. So that means if we solve this quadratic equation, we are going to have an imaginary result. And we don't need an imaginary result. All we need is a real solution. So the only real solution to this exponential equation that we have solved here is y equal to 4. So that is not our solution because from the question, we are asked to find the value of x. So remember, we said our y is equal to 2 to the power of x. So we are going to find the value of x. If y is equal to 2 to the power of x, remember, we said our 2 to the power of x is equal to y. So our 2 to the power of x if it is equal to y, which is 4, our value of x can be easily gotten. So this will give us 2 to the power of x equal to 2 to the power of 2. Since we have same base, then the exponent we equate, and then our x will be equal to 2. So x equal to 2 is the 
a solution that satisfies that exponential equation we have up there. So, to find, to confirm if we truly our solution is correct, let's see if we substitute the value of x equal to 2 into that equation. If we substitute the value of x into 2 to the power of x plus a to the power of x, will it give us 68? Now let's look at this. This will give us 2 to the power of 2, right? Plus 8 to the power of 2. What will that give us? 2 to the power of 2 is 4. 4 plus 2 to the power of 8 is equal to 64. So 4 plus 64 is equal to 68. Voila, that's correct. So the value of x equal to 2 is a solution that truly satisfies that uh, exponential equation that is given to us right from the beginning of this solution. I know you did enjoy watching this math solution. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with friends and colleagues, and remember to subscribe to our channel for simplified mathematics solutions. Thanks so much for watching, and bye-bye for now.